even though they said they was innocent and that it was all a big misunderstanding, there was a lot of evidence that eventually found them guilty. Not only was C-Day's DNA on Boyd's car, but the whole thing was also caught on surveillance footage. Plus, witnesses identified Rondo as a shooter and C-Day even dropped his phone at the scene of the crime. Two of the girls who were with him that night also testified against him and took the stand in court to identify Rondo and C-Day as the killers. There was even a rumor that Tay 600 snitched on C-Day. Tay was fighting a gun charge at that time and disappeared after Rondo and C-Day were convicted. Plus, 600 members like 600 Breezy and C-Day's brother E-Day said they saw paperwork that proved Tay 600 snitched. But the paperwork they supposedly saw ended up being fake and was used to try and discredit Tay 600. So the rumor wasn't true and Tay 600 proved his innocence years later after court paperwork showed that he never cooperated. But by this time, he was already labeled a snitch and couldn't rock with Team 600. With a mountain of evidence against him, Rondo and C-Day was found guilty of the murder of Javon Boyd. On top of the murder charge, Rondo got hit with a firearm charge for having a gun on him on the night of the murder. This was supposed to add multiple years to Rondo's sentence, but it only added one additional year and Rondo was sentenced to 39 years in prison while C-Day got sentenced to 38. 